Will the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mayor. <coughs> Our power as individuals is multiplied when we gather together as a community with common goals. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll. Um, there are 12 present. Alderman Boren, Damro, and Carlson, and Jose are excused. Uh, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today I'd like to just introduce some of our guests from the Lakeshore Technical Colleges, Sheboygan High School Equivalency Diploma students. Uh, they're here from Sharon Abel's class in civics, so I would welcome them tonight. Next, we'll move on with the um, approval of minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to resignation. City Attorney. We have one resignation. Uh, uh, Daryl Carlson is resigning from the Mead Library Board effective immediately. Thank you very much. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and place on file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. And uh, if any of the aldermen are interested in filling Daryl's position, please let me know and we'll make an appointment as soon as possible. Are there any appointments for this evening? No. Okay. Then we'll move on to public forum. Nothing this evening. Okay. Under mayor's announcements, we had a very interesting news come public uh, this morning. Uh, during our ocean conference in Valparaiso, Chile, President Barack Obama today announced that for the first time since 2000, two new national marine sanctuaries have been identified by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric uh, Agency for possible designation under the Marine Sanctuary Act. In Wisconsin, an 875-square-mile area of Lake Michigan off the coastal waters of Port Washington, Sheboygan, Manitowoc, and Two Rivers received tremendous support from the community and was identified for possible designation. The nominated area contains a collection of 39 known shipwrecks, 15 of which are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. NOAA is seeking comment on the proposals and a public scoping meeting is being uh, held on, at UW-Sheboygan campus on November 19th of 2015. After receiving public input, NOAA will conduct resource analysis and prepare draft le legislation uh, designation documents. These documents will be released for public review when NOAA will make a final decision on the designation and these final documents after review by the governor and Congress will be approved. We're hoping that it follows that track. Uh, copies of the information released today on your desk and also are posted to the city website. I'd also like to remind uh, the public that we're beginning leaf collection uh, today. The city has been divided into five different districts, and uh, each uh, day they will come back, of the month, of the week rather, they'll come back to the, uh, the proper district. We also encourage our residents to mulch their leaves with the lawn when cutting the grass or bagging the leaves and bringing them down to the drop-off center at the Department of Public Works. This will lessen the load for uh, the leaf collection. And that will cons uh, continue until November 20th. Okay, next we'll go on to our public hearing. We have a hearing to amend the city's zoning map to establish the use district classification of recently annexed property located on, that's just north of Wheaton Creek Road and west of I-43. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close. Second. Thank you for that motion to close the hearing. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to the consent agenda and include items 3.2 through 3.8. Alderman Hammond. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, move to accept and file all reports of officers, accept and adopt all reports of committees, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, those items are before us for any discussion. Are there any questions? Seeing none, all those, or the clerk rather, please call the roll. I'm not sure All right, thanks. Time. Got it. <coughs> 12 eyes. Next, we'll re go on to reports of officers. Item um, 4.1 will be held for 5.1. Items 4.2 through 4.8 will be referred to various committees. <coughs> Under resolutions, item 5.1, including 4.1 is a resolution by Alderman Bellinger authorizing entering into a contract with Bray and Associates for consulting services related to a programming and space needs analysis for City Hall. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that uh, motion to suspend. Is there any uh, objection to that? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to accept and file the RO and uh, put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Twelve eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is a resolution by Alderman Donahue applying certain changes to the city's medical benefit and dental benefit plan to represented employees in the Sheboygan Professional Police Officers Supervisory Association, the Sheboygan Professional Police Officers Association, and the International Association of Firefighters Local 4. 83 effective for calendar year 2016 coverage in establishing the monthly premium and equivalent rates effective for January of 2016 coverage and thereafter. Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the uh, resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Twelve eyes. Motion passes. Items five point three through five point seven will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committee six point one is an RC by lawn licensing to whom was referred RO number one oh eight of fifteen sixteen by the city clerk submitting various license applications and recommends that the beverage operators license number twenty nine excuse me, 9294, be denied based on her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her application, her record of violations related to the licensed activity, and her record as a repeat law offender. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Is Monica Torres here this evening? Okay, Monica is here. Um, she did... Uh, attend our meeting as we had requested. Uh, she has a very lengthy record that um, the committee was concerned about as well as the police department. Um, going back to 2005, she had, has a disorderly conduct, two, two disorderly conducts, sorry. Also a misdemeanor driving without a license. Um, in 2006, a disorderly conduct. 2007, a disorderly conduct with a mis and a misdemeanor driving without a license. In 2008, she had a disorderly <coughs> conduct. 2009, a disorderly conduct. 2010, she had a contempt of court. In 2011, she had failure to quarantine an animal. 2012, a contempt of court. 2013, disorderly conduct, as well as a contempt of court, obstructing and resisting, and an unlicensed animal. And in 2014, she had disorderly conduct. Um, 
at least one of the disorderly conducts, the most recent, or within the last two years, was did include drinking. Um, she held the license in 2010, 2011, around that time, but she's had quite a few violations since that time. So we were concerned about um, how her conduct would be in a place of um, business serving alcohol or selling it. Is there any other discussion? Monica, would you like to make any statement to the council? Please step forward to the microphone. Please proceed. Well, I know I made my mistake in <coughs> started conducts. This is my opportunity. I actually need this job. I'm actually working for a couple Can of Can you speak into the microphone a little bit more? Thank you. I want to say I apologize for all these disorder conducts I had. And I recall and I thought I actually did um, explain myself in order to get my liquor license, which I'm a single mother of three kids. I live on my own. And I do need this job. Okay. My Did you manager. want to add anything as the manager? Monica has worked for us for a short time. She works for us in a couple different stores. Um, and in doing so, she has not proven to do any mistakes. She's been an asset to us in our stores. She's bilingual, which is also an asset to us in the neighborhoods that she works in and has not done any wrong in the three months that she's worked for us. So I hope that you would at least, if you don't issue her a full license, offer her a provisional license to prove to you that she can do a good job for us. Thank you very much. You're excused then. Is there any other discussion? Alderman Thiel. Um, before you leave, where is the place of employment by chance? Okay, any other discussion? That's the clerk. <laughs> Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, she came before us at our law and licensing meeting and she has eight disorderly conducts and three contempts of court. I was concerned about the issues of contempt of court and what that actually meant. And it meant one of two things, either she didn't show up or she didn't follow the judge's order. And when she spoke to us at law and licensing, she did not say that she'd been at every one of her court hearings, which leads us to believe that she didn't do what the judge had ordered. Um, the police department was not comfortable in giving a favorable recommendation, so I will not be voting in favor of approving this license. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on passage? Nine eyes, three no's. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to matters laid over. Item 7.1 is RO number 147 of 1516 by the City Planning Commission to who is referred General Ordinance number 18 of 1516 by Alderman Bellinger, amending the city's zoning map to establish the use district classification of recently annexed property north of Wheaton Creek Road and west of I-43. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Twelve ayes. Motion passes. Under other matters, City Attorney. We do have one other matter, 8.1 is an RO submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2015 and June 30th, 2017. That'll be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. I was remiss earlier in the meeting in not recognizing Boy Scout Troop number 818, uh, their Lightning Patrol. They have several members here working on their uh, government uh, merit badge. That's Grant Hosevar, 
Johnny George, Nicholas Waleka, and Alex Cunningham. They're all from Immaculate Conception Parish. Thanks for attending tonight. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in closed session under the exemption contained in section 19851E, Wisconsin statutes, for the purpose of deliberating the possible sale of public property where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session related to the sugar property. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The clerk, please call the roll for closed session. Twelve eyes. Motion passes. We'll take a five-minute uh, recess and um, reconvene shortly. Write that down in your book. Yeah, exactly.